Hi everyone, it's Tammy and welcome back to my craft room here at Creative Girl Vintage. My last video, I promised I was going to make some snowmen. The snowmen are still coming, but I hope you don't mind if I took a wee bit of a detour and slipped in just a little bit of Halloween this week. So these Edgar Allan Poe ornaments, um, I made them, I think it was a few years ago even, I just made them for my Etsy shop. And I shared them the other day on my Creative Girl Vintage Facebook page. And so many of you said, would you please do a tutorial on those? And so that's exactly what's gonna happen today. This video is inspired by all you creative souls over there. So I love these fillable ornaments. They have so many possibilities and a lot of them come in a package so you can do a lot of projects. And uh, this one here, I made a little image that um, a little freebie I'm going to share with you. I'll tell you where you can get that. And so um, let me gather up everything that we need because it's time to make some scary Halloween Edgar Allan Poe inspired ornaments. For today's project, um, I'm going to use the heart shaped fillable ornament. Um, I also have this one, which I love these. These are currently unavailable right now. I can't find them to, to link them for you. Um, you can see they're just kind of narrow. They're not like the big round ball Christmas ornaments. Um, I have did projects with these before. So I probably a lot of you already have these. Whichever one you choose to use for this, I think works great. So the next thing that I did was, as you can see, since these are for Halloween, they're painted black on the back. And not only that, it just, whatever you're gluing down in there, nothing shows. You know, you've got a really pretty finished back. So what I did here was basically got a piece of cardboard, took one half of my ornament, took it outside, and I like to use this. This is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Paint and Primer. It's good for all surfaces, so it just never comes off. It really wears well. And this color is Oil Rubbed Bronze. I love that color. So I just use it really for everything. <laughs> I just, I like that one. So here we go. We've got our painted ornament. Take it, let it dry really good. And now we're ready to fill it up. As always, everything I'm using today, I will link in the description box below this video. So let's talk images for a second. Um, you know, I told you guys that I, I like had, I made these like a couple of years ago. So I had my Edgar Allan Poe images that I downloaded from Etsy shop Sweet Pea Curiosities. And fortunately, they're still available. There's so many Poe inspired images in this packet because it's actually, you can make a Poe journal. So, you know, you don't even have to use the ones I'm using today. You can pick out maybe something that you like a little bit better and um, or maybe you might want to make a journal. I mean, I'm thinking about making a journal. It would be so beautiful. Great stuff there. And I just printed it out what I wanted on a little bit of cardstock. This image right here, Once Upon a Midnight Dreary, I made this for you guys. It's over on my blog. You can right click it and keep it for your crafting projects. And here's how it looks in this ornament right here. Okay, so those are the images. And then what I did, I just cut Poe out really just around all around his head. I found a little saying I like that said, there's no beauty without some strangeness. And then just the words here, Edgar Allan Poe. All right, so let's fill this up. Okay, first thing I'm gonna use is, this is a little three quarter inch block. And I'm putting it down in here to elevate Poe up a little bit. Okay, so let's, let's glue, a little hot glue, just glue our little block right there in the center. Okay, got some Excelsior here, and this stuff is just so messy. I'm going to try to like squeeze it together just to kind of keep it from being so messy. I'm just taking a little hot glue down in there and just smush it down in there. Okay, let's see, what have I got here? Another little piece over for this other side. So with the paint on the outside here, you can see what you're not gonna be looking at. All this glue, the back of the wood, and plus if you pull something off, you're not like lifting any paint, you know, with some glue. So works good painting that on the outside. All right, I'm gonna just kind of smash that down a little bit. And let's get Poe, let's lay him 
right here in the center. These little blocks always were, I, I always use these little blocks. They just seem to elevate everything up. All right, cute, right? Okay, let's look at our words here. I think I'm just gonna take this little saying and just kind of pop it right there. It'll stick onto that Excelsior and won't go anywhere. And then the little Edgar Allan Poe. I need to be careful here. I'm gonna lay that right across there like so. I've got a tiny little raven feather here. Let's see where that can go first before I hit it with any glue. Okay, you know what? I'm going to trim my feather down just a hair. Okay. All right. Maybe just pop it right in there. It was a little big. And one of the things we're going to try to avoid here is anything sticking out on the edges. This is a little dried flower, little black dried flower. I think I found those at Michael's last year. They were around the Halloween decorations. Pop that right in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go around here with my scissors and just get rid of some of this excess Excelsior. We want our lid to snap down the best that it can our top part rather and with this stuff sticking out it's not going to do it so just a little trim like so let's bring our top piece over and you can hear it snap right on i'm not going to glue this down because we're going to be doing a trim that's going to have a hot glue seal all the way around here in my in my little stash here, I had these um, these little jump rings. Let me find one here. They're kind of I don't know. They're they're they bend nice and easy. I this stuff here I know I just find in the jewelry making section, like at Michaels. And I'm just gonna slip one of these in and close it up, so that makes like a nice little ring at the top where we can put. A hanger and let's see what I got here how about a simple piece of black ribbon for a hanger just whatever you got slide it in and our ornament is ready now for some embellishments I have such a pretty piece of this is like a ruffled velvet isn't that pretty I love this. We're going to go around the edges with this. Okay. Grabbing the glue gun and putting it right there on that seam. Probably the one thing that I would always suggest when doing this is kind of tread lightly when you're doing this. Just put a little glue on, take your glue gun and go the opposite direction because then then the front of your your piece because if a glue string goes across this acrylic it is really hard to get off it's like it just adheres on there and uh, you try scraping it off and then you just end up smudging the whole front you can tell i've did that before i have experience with that so i just kind of carefully pull my glue gun away to eliminate as, as much string as possible. Okay, and you just keep going all the way around. You can see that glue just kind of seals that edge as well. If you're enjoying this video, I hope you'll just take a moment to give it a thumbs up. It goes a long way to support my channel and I truly appreciate it. Okay. Let's trim this off here. All right. And for a variation, this one here, I used a little tiny pom-pom trim. So that was really cute on there too. So kind of whatever trims you have work on this. 
Now this one here, the first one I made, I used, this is a vintage pink and it was a silver like um, tree garland tinsel and I used a little bit of tulle on here and a jewel. And just so you know, this I'm going to be using a couple of these little jewels today and these came from Etsy Shop Sweet Gildings. Um, when I link, put a link below to her shop for the most gorgeous, sparkly, beautiful things out there, she also has included a discount code for you guys for my subscribers and that was very generous of her so thank you Catherine for that so that link will be below for you guys for a discount now this one here I used um, some tool I put the black and the white together I want to do that on this one here today so I've got a couple strips of tool and I cut this in half and an easy way to do that this is just the tool on the roll so cut off just a good old chunk of it and fold it in half, fold it in half and fold it in half and then just give it a snip and you've got a lovely piece to work with, a little half instead of it being so wide. And I did that here with the black and the whites. So I'm going to fold that in half and since I had kind of, it's kind of long here, I'm just going to fold it in half again. Nope, I can't. Sorry, it wasn't long enough. Let me just do this. I was going to fold it twice and just get a little bit of a fuller bow, but I couldn't do it. Didn't get enough, but that's okay. This one's going to be pretty. Trim it down. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Didn't get to do a double, but that's okay. We are gluing this on right here okay hold that for a second so it doesn't pop off that's really cute isn't it all right let's look at these gorgeous jewels here let me see what we got mm, I love this one look at this one and then I here this is the one I thought would be so pretty just like put in the center of that so I put thought we'd put these on our bow just using my hot glue as usual okay watch your glue strings oh that's so pretty It looks so pretty. It's so nice having a little collection of these to play with. On this one here, I added one right on the Raven. You guys, I know I have a lot of light coming down just for because I'm filming and it reflects off of this. So I hope you can see this okay. All right, so here we go. We've got a couple of cute Edgar Allan Poe inspired ornaments. I hope this inspired you to do a few Poe ornaments. And I uh, really enjoyed our crafting time together. Um, I promise I'll be back with Snowman if I don't get sidetracked again with another Halloween project. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.